Right, so the next step is adding um, an extra field into our form that we've created last time, and that field that will allow us to upload the image for every aliens. Now, the first thing that you're going to make are changes to your previous forms. Um, so you're going to go to the 4PHP. You're going to add the ink type multi-part form data. It's just telling that you're going, yes, you're going to submit the process, you're going to post it to the process PHP, but you're also going to, with the values of every field, you are um, adding a file as well, because you're going to upload the file and submit it to the next process PHP. Now, after you've done that bit here, it's the ink type, multi-part, backslash form, slash data. So you're going to go down and now we're going to, after the field, you're going to um, add your next file in here. So you've got another break. You're going to put input type hidden name equal max underscore file underscore size equal value any and i put like eight zeros i'm just determining what is the max value or the max um file size so it means if the, if your file is bigger than this this size here then it will return an error and it won't be uploading the file now the next thing is input so you're putting um a button that the file will be uploading into and then name equal user file. So I'm just naming it as a user file, or it could be aliens file, whatever you want to name it. And the type of that information that's going to be entered is a file. So remember all the previous one where type just the text. This one's a checkbox, and this one is a file. And then closing that break. And then now remember the submit button we had at the end. So you can change that submit button. And I've just put a value. I've written it into add new alien so you can keep the same submit button or you can just change it into that same um, different value that's what's going to be written on the button itself okay now now i can um, save it and i can test it not test it just want to see how it looks like before i even go ahead and finish the rest of my work so i go form and you can see the form so this is the choose the file in here that's the one that we've added, and we've just changed adding new aliens for my submit button. Now, the next step, so the next step now, I, I will work on the process PHP. So, we're going to handle the file that's been added. So, then I'm going to create obviously another variable, and that variable, I'm um, going to call it image name. And the image name, it has backslash file. So, remember, it's not post anymore, it's the files because i'm uploading a file and then i say user file remember we've named our form here user file so that's the same name as this one here and then um use a name and then the next bit is everything the connection and everything here is fine so the next bit is i'm going to add an image name so i haven't changed anything to the connection i'm going to now um, add a variable called image name and then in that image name that i'm going to add same files add lashes add lashes mean create an array of image names remember that we've saved in the in the database it's going to be the, the going to be saved as a sequence of binary codes and those sequence of binary codes will be saved in array or a list and then you when you access it you're going to access the whole array right so that's what's going to happen remember it's a close it's a circular bracket and here it's a square bracket it's very important that you remember the square brackets in here and then after that i've got the image i've got a variable called image and the variable called image is the um, base 64 underscore encode. Okay, so it's 64 underscore encode. And um, what, what it means is I'm going to encode the add file contents. So add lashes, again, I'm going to create 
um, an array of things. And the, the, the comment that I will use is called file underscore git underscore content. So this time I don't want the name of the file. I want actually the content of the file in here. And the content of what? You're going to press exactly what you've written in here. Okay, you can rechange that one here and using the image name variable that we're going to create it that we've created earlier and closing all the brackets. It's very, very important that you make sure that you're closing all those brackets. Next thing is remember the change that we made into our variable. Okay, um, so the table we are using a new table, I called the table image and we've changed the table name variable into aliens underscore image so this is the name of the table that has the image field now you can use the name straight away and insert into or you can use the variable table name so i'm going to use the variable table name so i've added the tape variable table name so when i want to change the tables i'm just going to add, uh, change the value of that variable and remember the variable now the table name has an image as another field so i'm just going to add image fields in here and then I'm going to add a value for that image. I'm going to add this one here, variable image, not the image name, variable image. And I've done the variable image. Now, if you've done that one here, all save it. And now let's test it. So there's the image file that we've created. So I'm going to put Bob going to put um, circle, just random, sorry, circle, I've spelled it incorrectly. going to put orange. I'm going to put eyes three. going to put the mouth open. going to put arms five. we got no ears. And then I'm going to choose one of them. I don't know. I'm just going to choose circle orange. I'm just going to choose this one here. And then I say add a new file and you can see that file is being connected. So you are connected a new alias being added. Now if I want to check if the alias has been added correctly, it was supposed to be. So you go to PHP my admin, you go to the database, and you're gonna go to the image. And you can see that's been added Bob, orange, circle, five, open, three. And you can see that is a photo now. And it's 33.2 kb. Okay. Uh, okay. And now your homework is adding all. I've shared already the file, um, the image photos for all the aliens. It's in your shared CS2 drive. So just go there and access them and add all the files. So what I want you to do, you probably delete, you need to delete what you've been added before. So delete all of these. I've deleted fewer into ones just to try the image bit while I was testing. So delete everything in here and then fresh a new and go to the image and fresh a new add new data. You're not going to add it using the database. You need to add it using your form because it's all working correctly now. Thank you so much for working, for watching.